hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is hitesh and i'm back with another video this video is brought to you by pixcap.com pixcap is an online service for 3d designs and animation if you are a graphic designer a motion graphic artist or even a 3d artist you can use pixcap to create some amazing 3d designs and animation for your projects for your social media and for your clients as well if you are a freelancer so pixcap offers a ton of 3d assets characters and animations you can explore all these and you can use all these assets animation and all the scenes for free and if you really want to get into it and create some amazing designs and animation you can opt for their pro plan and you can get a 20 percent discount by using my coupon code wolf20 you will get the code in the description and on your screens right now as well so let's explore pixcap a little bit more and see what it has to offer so navigation is pretty simple it's similar to what any 3d software has so you can press alt and left mouse button to rotate your view middle mouse to pan your camera and right mouse button while holding alt to zoom in and out and you can also go to file and help and here you see this shortcut and if you click here you'll get all the short keys for every navigation and every feature for the viewport so these shortcuts are pretty much simple and similar to any of the design softwares now pixcap also has a great community of artists on discord which you can connect to and uh, they can also guide you in your projects and about pixcap if you have any queries so on the top part we have all these options to create these primitive shapes so if i go to add and click on this cube it's going to create a cube in my viewport and i can use these gizmo to rotate translate and scale my asset and from here i can change my camera so i can go to this option and click on this main camera perspective and it's going to show me my camera and down here is our timeline now this scene has already some animation so if i play it it's going to show you the animation right here so if i click on this play animation option it's going to show you all these great animations you can also add your own animations you can also add your own keys which we will see in a few moments so on the right side you have all these options to change the properties of your assets for example if you want to change the color of your background you can just select the background and go here in the backdrop and change the color so if you want to change the color to green just select green and it's going to change the color or what you can do is you can just go to edit and change the color manually to anything you like and if you want to change the lighting so you just have to go to the scene index and select the light you can increase or decrease the intensity or even change the color of your light if you want and you have all these options if you want to turn off the shadows you can and create all type of variation using these properties this property panel will change according to your assets so if i select my camera the options are going to be very different and if i change to any of these assets it's going to show you the different properties now we have this export section here so you can export your animation your designs in image format in video or in gif as well but if you're a 3d artist and you want to use the assets from pixcap to any other 3d software such as blender maya 3ds max cinema 4d then you also get the option to export in fpx or glb which is pretty helpful if you are a 3d artist like me who uses maya or blender so i can use all these assets and export them to any other 3d software and use in my other projects as well now pixcap has all these asset packs that you can use in your animation in your designs so if you are a ui designer you can use the icons and the phone ui website ui and 3d icons for your mobile app designs and your website designs or if you are an animation artist you can use characters and all these scenes pixcap has to offer to include in your animations and in your designs you can use them for your social media for your personal projects for your commercial projects as well and using them is pretty simple 
Pixcap has a vast library of assets and animation. So if you explore the library, you'll get a tons of great assets that you can use in your project, such as these characters and these avatars, 3D icons. And not only you can use these assets, but you can use their animation sequence and apply them on any of the characters they offer or the characters you create from scratch so you don't have to create everything from scratch instead you can just go to the character section and choose any of these characters or the scenes they have tons of great scenes that can be used by just selecting so if i'm creating a ui design and i need something like this i can just click here and this asset will be imported in my viewport Since Pixcap is an online service which works on cloud so you don't have to install it on your device and worry about not having enough RAM or graphic power. So if you want to render this animation, what you have to do is you can just go to export, select the video, change the size. For example, if you want to post this on Instagram, I'm going to select the Instagram or you can also customize this by changing the resolution here but let's go with the default presets here so i'm going to go with the instagram post and if i click on export here it's going to export your video very quickly now it's not taking any power from your pc it's not using your graphics card or your processor so you don't have to worry about not having enough hardware and our video processing is done our animation is rendered now here we have our animation so using Pixcap is very simple and you don't have to worry about rendering. Pixcap has got you covered. So let me show you how you can create an animation like this from scratch in Pixcap. So first we have to go to my project and create a new project. So we have this viewport now and by default we have a directional light and you can change the properties of this light from this panel. So I can increase the intensity or the color but uh, you will not see anything just yet because we don't have any object in our viewport so first i'm going to go to add and i'm going to create a plane and i'm going to increase the scale of it so if you press r uh, this gizmo is going to change to scale and now you can scale it like this or you can just select this uh, middle part and scale it up universally now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to add and create a camera and i'm going to change this to camera and set up my view and now i'm going to change it back to perspective and this is my camera view and uh, now i can work here freely so i'm going to create an environment and for that uh, We'll go to library and bring some assets to my viewport so here we have all the 3d assets divided in the categories you can check out these options here and uh, if you don't want to create a scene from scratch you can also go to the scenes and uh, use uh, any of these uh, templates so first i'm going to search for some rocks and i'm going to use these ones so you can check the view from this window and I'm going to select the rocks and scale these up like this. Make them bigger, maybe a little bit more. And uh, let's select a few of them and uh, duplicate. So you can just press Ctrl C and V to copy paste and place them where you want to place. I'm going to change the pivot to world that we have a better control over these assets and let's see how it looks so this looks good i'm going to move it to the right side a little bit and now i'm going to right click here and select all all these rocks and uh, i'm going to change the color of it so go to edit select the color and also i'm going to change the color of this plane maybe something like this now you can also change the background and uh, make it look like more of a sky so you can select this bg and you can change the color 
do something like this and you can change the intensity of the light if you want but i think 0 0.5 looks much better and we have all these post effects which we're going to take a look at later in this video so let's bring some more assets i'm going to go back to library and uh, maybe bring some of these rocks and uh, place them around here and uh, i'm going to change the color of these rocks and uh, maybe moss to something like and i'm going to delete this one and uh, duplicate this one again and uh, let's go back to library and uh, import some characters so i'm going to clear this search section and scroll down And for the final animation, I'm going to import a starship. And I'm going to select my ship. Bring it graph editor. change the frames to 120 and i'm going to select all these translation points here and on the 40th frame i'm going to bring this here on this point so if i bring this back then you'll see our animation is going to be and maybe i'll rotate this a little bit and when it comes here it rotates back like this and on the 70th frame it settles down like this so let's go back and see how it looks i'm going to play the animation and that's our final animation maybe we can make it a little bit lower so instead of 70th frame i'm going to select all these and pull this to 80. so this is our final animation let's change it to camera and make it full screen and see how it looks And exporting it is pretty simple. I just have to go to export. And if I want to export it as a video, just select the video and choose your size. So I'm going to choose 1920 by 1080p and click on export. And it's just going to take a few seconds. So our animation is rendered and PixCap is processing our video. So that's it and i hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to try apex cap uh, go to the description there is a discount coupon code world 20 that you can use to avail a 20 percent discount on PixCap subscription so i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching